you can now boot after effect from space open a folder import a file and start working on them you just need to upgrade your current after effect to version 2035 if you are unable to upgrade, then you need to know how to use the key light effect for chroma key to be able to do something like this. So from 2035, I will take you back to 2025, then I will show you how to remove a green screen properly in Adobe After Effect. Please help him get to 10K subscribers this year. Chroma keying allows you to replace a specific color in your footage, typically a green or a blue background with another different background. This technique is widely used in a film and video production to create various visual effects or even motion graphics as you have seen in the example. Open After Effects and create a new project. Go to File import file and select your green screen footage drag your imported footage onto the new composition icon to create a composition that matches your footage settings use the pen tool to mask out areas that are not covered by the green screen click on your footage layer to ensure it is selected Navigate to Effect and Preset and search for Key Light 1.2 to apply the Key Light effect to your selected layer. In the FX Control panel, locate the Screen Color property. Click on the Eyedropper tool next to it. Using the Eyedropper, click on a representative area of the green screen in the Composition panel. This action tells Key Light which color to remove. Change the view settings in key light from final result to screen made to see the black and white made. In this view, white represents the foreground subject and black represents the background. In the screen matte settings, adjust the clip black and clip white properties to refine the matte. Increase clip black to remove any residual green background and decrease clip white to restore details in your subject. If you notice any fringe around your subject, adjust the screen shrink grow properties to contract or expand the matte edges. To soften the edges of the matte, increase the screen softness value slightly. After refining the mat, some green spill may still be visible on your subject. To address this, apply the Advanced Spill Suppressor effect by going to Effects and Preset, then key Advanced Spill Suppressor. This effect helps to remove any remaining green tint from your subject. Import the background you wish to use by selecting File, Import, File and choose your desired image or video. You can also create a solid layer for this purpose. To ensure your subject blends seamlessly with the new background, apply color correction effects like curves or levels to match the lighting and color tones. And that is how you can use the key light effect in Adobe After Effects for chroma keying. By carefully selecting and refining your key, you can achieve professional and seamless results. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe for more After Effects tutorials. If you have any question or topics you would like me to cover, let me know in the comment below. So, until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.